you know, I don't. I don't like the Sheepdogs. I, it's, I know I'm supposed to. I'm a Canadian rock fan, but... Just... Hey, it's uh, Kayla Booker with another book review this time. Dying to Be Me by Anita Morjani. Uh, this was a book recommendation from a YouTuber, so thank you very much. There's the name. Le Torres 1209. The basic idea of this book, which is uh, a nice little slim little thing, uh, the foreword by Dr. Wayne Dyer, which might be a selling point for you. But, uh, Anita um, lost uh, a friend and then her father to cancer and then she got cancer. They're unrelated, or is it? So she ends up with cancer. Um, can't stand the idea of chemotherapy. She saw two people go through it and die anyway and she didn't want to die like that. But her body basically falls apart over the course of a long period of time uh, to the point where her organs just start shutting down. They take her to the hospital and uh, they say, well, this is it. She's dying right here, right now. Uh, there's, we can't, there's nothing that can be done. She's, she's dying now. And then she has this near-death experience where she talks with her friend and her father and, uh, and achieves a state of godhood where, you know, a state of eternity, a connection with everything. And makes the choice, uh, do, I, do I go back to that life or do I continue on? She decides to come back and her body heals up real fast. You look at her today, she doesn't look like she ever had cancer. So this is about her personal reflections of, of that experience. I did a review of this when I first read the book and I did not post it because the day after somebody wrote me a message, I was writing back and forth with a friend on Facebook, just, uh, just okay. and uh, they said something that really made me realize I was overlooking something. At first, I read this and I thought, ah, I know all this stuff. Ah, this is stuff I already, you know, it's already in my sphere. I've, I've had experiences that relate to what she's talking about. And, it, and I was disappointed that it didn't tell me um, anything about how to beat cancer. You know, if you want that, uh, there's another book, Answer Cancer. I have a copy. I'll, I'll review it soon. But then my friend reminded me of uh, fate's role in our lives and, and of how uh, how our lives are planned. Let me fix this camera. And I realized that, you know, one of the biggest messages in this book is about fate. Let me just sort of summarize it real quick for you, her, her main points. The, the first one is about guilt. She talks about her life and how her life set her up to feel guilt. Uh, original sin, uh, uh, inadequacy on all sorts of levels, uh, cultural problems, cultural differences. And she says that basically you are blameless and sinless, and when you die, there is no judgment, no judgment, no judgment. You are good forever. Which means, not only should you forgive yourself, but you should forgive everyone. It's, everyone is blameless for their lives. Everyone's responsible for their lives, sorry. I don't want to say you're not responsible, you are infinitely responsible. But also, your life was planned in conjunction with everybody else's lives. And all the awful things you ended up doing were in cooperation with other people. Because every moment of your life and theirs were planned out before you started this one um, in order to achieve a specific goal. And everything positive and negative, positive and negative uh, that you experienced um, had a purpose. So don't sweat it. That's sort of a facile way of saying it, but you know. That reaches back to one thing, and I remember telling a friend in the last week about this, and he said, God, that's exhausting. How could you put that much planning and effort into it? Well, the other point she makes, and this is very critical here, is that um, God isn't a person. God is a state of being. In fact, it's your natural state of being, one that you relax back into once you die. Dying being just leaving this life. And that you leave that God state on purpose in order to experience this life, to experience what it's like to be this personality and have this life. So that's interesting. Uh, God is a state of being. I hadn't really thought about that before. And that opens up a whole realm of philosophy that if I got into, this video would go on for an hour. So I better give that a rest. The, the other last, and I think for me personally, most important thing, is that your life's purpose is inevitable. I spent a lot of time in my life really concerned about discovering what I'm supposed to be here to do. What am I supposed to do in the big sort of 
fiery words in the sky sense of the word, you know, what is my fate and how do I achieve it? You know, with this whole worry that if I don't really work hard and find it, then my life will have been a waste. But the promise that uh, she brings us here is that your whole life is planned, really it is, and that you cannot help but follow that plan by accident. You know, it's, you can't not do it. So don't sweat it. Your life's purpose is simply to live, to be who you are. Now, that old cliche, to be who you are, uh, is one of those things we all say and we all mean, and, and, and we, but neither, none of us really understand what it means. And, and hopefully by reading this, you kind of get a, another sense of, of what that is. But your life's purpose is to be exactly who you are at this moment, at every moment that you've ever lived, and every moment that's to come. And if you never figure it out, that's perfect. That's exactly who you were supposed to be. And if you were in conflict your whole life, great, you did it, you know? Um, you can't get it wrong. Be who you are. Don't sweat what anybody else thinks because it really doesn't matter. Um, and you're wonderful. I'd say that's a positive message. I don't know about you. So that's it. Uh, I enjoyed it. It's fun. Uh, what's great about this book is because it got the Dr. Wayne Dyer seal of approval, um, that um, it's easy to find. I found uh, ebook versions for, through my library. This is also a library book, which is why it's so shiny. And uh, so, you know, uh, easy to find and um, nice short read, very accessible. Uh, enjoyable for everyone. I highly, I, I recommend it. That's it. If you have a book suggestion, please let me know. Uh, I do have books I've already read that I have to do reviews for. Sorry, I haven't been in front of the camera like I normally have. But uh, that's it. Love y'all. See you next time.